okay um this is the same beam now on okay this is the same beam now on my um autocad so now let's do this on the 2d way what i will do now is i'm going to offset my cover and these are my slab line if you should check this is the slab of 150 in section so what i'll do is i'll just right click and do what is known as select similar then i'll change the line type to dash let's say dashed okay i'm looking for dash so i change this to dash if you should notice it's not showing then what i will do is i'll increase the lt scale lt scale so then i'll type in let's give it a value of 100 so for us to see can you see now it looks more better and nicer i might change the color if i wish if i wish so it depends and um now i'll offset my beam cover let's say 30 let's say 30 30 let me call this 30 let me assume this as my beam also 30 30 then, okay let me leave it like that then i'll offset my column cover let me give my column cover to be 25 then I don't really need anything much again. So my column cover again. Let's say this is um 25. So I think this is better now. Then what I'll do now is I'll just go to my cadence and I'll choose this first one. Then it will load. It will take time, like let's say 30 seconds or so, because I'm using it for the first time today. Then I'll just call this beam. Call this beam. I'll hit an OK. And after it's not okay, I'll check the type I want. So basically look for the shape, code and number. Is it this type? No. Okay, I'm coming, I'm finding it. Let's see this is um, Oh god. Okay, this is it. So now in Cardal see you have different options. So I'm using this option. This is A. Why I'll put C then I will use my hand to give the value for B. I'll just call this my top bar. I'll change this to 12. Then I'll just give it a um, number. It's just number is three. So then what should I do next? Okay. I'll click on okay. A one seven five C one seven five then B. I don't know yet. So I'll be the one to specify my B. So what I'll do next is I'll click on OK and I'll have this symbol. This is my A here, B here, C here, C, A, B, C. So I'm placing. If I'm should, if I should place my bar like this, so I'll scroll in. Then I'll come to this part, dimension A. I'll give. Then I'll come to this part here to give my B. I'll be the one to specify my B. Then my C will automatically display. Then it asks me should I justify this bar? What I'll just do is I'll tick here, then I'll pick on any point on the bar, then I have the band drawn. So now instead of withdrawing this bar, I can just do what is known as mirror. I'll just pick on that bar, I'll type on mirror, I'll look for a center point very close by. I'm coming, I'm looking for a center point. Okay. So Okay, this is out of it. No, 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 no. Okay, but I'll use it like that. No. Copy bar. I want to mirror bar set, not the bar view. I'll click on OK. But since I did a little bit of mistake, I'll just do what is move. I'll pick on the bar. Then I'll drop on the cover. So now this is my bottom bar. So what I'll do next is I'll just double click on this bar. And just change this to bottom. I'll hit on OK. Then I'll come back here to label my bar. So just come here and to pop out the bar. So then I'll come here, change it to bottom. So now that is it for that one. Bottom. So now what next is I'll come here to drop my links. So I want it as double indicator, like one year, one year. Then I'll go for my links. I'll search for my links. Since this 61 or 62, 
then what I'll do is uh, I'll give a value for it if I should know it since I'm not really sure I can just I can just do something like uh, my beam is 230 by let's zoom I will later adjust I can always adjust I'll type in links then I'll give this I want to put my links on 300 center to center so now I'll just hit on ok ok I made a mistake which I will correct later on my links will start from somewhere here enter my dimension A enter my dimension B then I'll go to my second point this is my second point here somewhere here should be my second point I'll just trace it back a little bit so it will give out the links and ask me for the slope arrow which is I'll just choose the center point then I'll click and enter then it ask me should I justify then I'll justify inside and now this is my links so now this you are seeing here it was a mistake for me whereby i can just change this to my left or my right so for me to have that kind of feelings it seems this should be around 450 or 500 click on ok ok so if you should notice the 450 is too much so i'll go back again i should have subtract my bottom cover and the top cover from the 450 and then I'm having a cover of let's say um, 30 below 450 up and that should be 450 that should be 450 minus 25 minus 30 that's around 395 or so so 395 so it's gonna okay it's gonna okay. okay so we have it here now sorry please I did not prepare much for this so Okay, I'll change it to let's say 400. Change let's say 400. 400. Okay. 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 I think this is better. And I'll come to this one here also. I'll just choose on it and change it to let's say 450. Okay. And I'll put this on my side, on my right hand side, and set it okay. Okay. So now this is my links. Yeah, so what I'll do now is I'll call these links into this section box here. So I'll just pick on the view and I'll pick on this bar here. You should have just on this. This is the shape it will show, so I don't want it like this. I want it on profile, outer profile, right. Then no, I want it on the side to have the side view. And uh, what I'll just do is just pick on my point anywhere and just drag. I'll just, I'll just stick on here and profile and just put it on let's say side I'll click on ok so we pick here any point here then your dimension direction A my direction B so now this is it so with this I should know there is a mistake here on my beam so dimly I want to check it seems I have a great mistake here Okay, as you can see now, um, the only mistake I have here is that this guy needs to go up by 100. So offset by 100, enter is at the top. So, so, so this mistake was from me. Not I'll just drag this guy up here and then bring this one out a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'll leave it like 
that then since this is okay like this then uh, I should make a dim linear an offset of let's say 150 for the slab then if this is 150 then I have to remove this then I have to bring this guy up a little bit to bring this guy up a little bit here to this point and just highlight everything and trim out some parts I don't want out from it. Okay. So this is okay. This is okay. thousand this is it like that so you give this cover this side cover also you have to put it into consideration you bit want to adjust that for only make it like this then I want to arrange um not range I want to place this bar here inside this section from here you pick on this bar and you just stick on bar on then this is a general room bar the what you do next is uh, you suppress your center to center display and um, just click on OK. I think that is all for now. Okay, so we have to change uh, the profile. Okay, so now you are setting the bar by zero and then you range, you range to this part and you give it a value of zero again. Then what side are we placing the bar? We are placing the bar like this and that is it there. This is our bar for the top bar. Then for the bottom bar, you do the same thing. You tick on it. Tick on the bar, you hit on your bar on. Then you come to your general run and you do same thing. You suppress your center to center display. Just tick on OK and just come to this part here. And so this is it then you, if you don't have your bar place here you can alight and use your move command to lift it a little bit up okay. you can also pick it one after the other to make adjustment to it so now for this you can call this one out a little bit and just click on it and call it zero two then check on it again call this zero two you have to because both bars are the same thing okay so this is a single bar you have it on two raised bar view because the length is just a single bar then you call this one out then this is the top bar, you can put it on this side then you come here again this is the bottom bar you can put it on this side also zero one, so if you should look at it now, this is O1 O1 and this is O2 so I hope you guys have been able to understand this tutorial better and thank you so remove this guy out here type in your dim lane and hit on enter and pick on this two point to detail this guy and hit on 450 so I don't know which one is faster or better thank you